for um, equation of a line, and essentially the goal of that is to find uh, the equation of a line in that y equals mx plus b. It's like the standard form, they call it, for equation of a line. Um, but we've only been given the intercepts of the equation, right? So I'm going to do a rough sketch of this equation really quickly. There we go. So the y-intercept will be approximately here at 2, and the x-intercept will be approximately here at at three. So we have a line we know that's going to connect these two. What we don't know is the equation. We have a general idea. And actually just looking at this, we can kind of estimate, do you know what kind of slope this will be if it's going from, um, from up here down to here? I know we say what kind of slope I'm looking for. Do you know if it is a positive or a negative slope? Uh, negative. That's right. It's a negative slope. So already we can start to infer. We know we're going to have a negative slope. Anything sloping this way, um, the quadrants are usually uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4. This is the way they talk about quadrants. 4 would be like that. So anything going from like 2 to 4 is negative. Anything going from 3 to 1, that would be considered positive. Okay. Essentially what they've done is they've given us two coordinates. Okay. So an x-intercept, well, the x-intercept, um, that's here, so crossing this x-axis. Well, we know what the y value is. We know that x is 3. What would the y value be at that coordinate? Zero. Zero, that's right. So now we have two points. Perfect. So there's our x-intercept. And what about our y-intercept here? We know that the y value is 2. What is the x value? Zero. That's right, zero. Perfect. So what they've actually given us, even though it looked like it had a very sparse information, they've actually given us just two coordinates. Okay. So let's re relate this to a line. With a line, the form we're looking for is y equals... Uh, I'm going to put the M and B, but there's no relation to the colors here, okay? M, X, uh, we'll put B, the Y, y actually, no, we'll put this one because this is important. This green, okay, scratch that. I'm going to change these colors to help us out here. I didn't plan that one well. Let's do this. We'll put the M red, the B green. The reason I put the B green is because actually one of the coordinates they've given us is a Y-intercept. B stands for the y-intercept. Mm -hmm. So whatever that value is, we can replace B with it. So we know B is 2, so we can replace B with the number 2. So y is equal to m x, and it's positive 2, so plus 2. Okay, so we already have one value, um, but we still have three unknowns, y, x, and most importantly, m. m is what we have to find out. Mm -hmm. um, there are a couple ways we could go about doing this. We could decide to take these coordinates and find, um, it's also known as the rate of change, so it would be like the change in y over the change in x is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay. Um, and we can do that. Oh, okay. Um, we could take these coordinates and we just have to find out the two y's and subtract them. But what's neat about this situation is because we already have the B, we can plug in an X and a Y, and we only have one variable left. And we can just isolate for that variable M to find out what it is. Okay? So I'll show you both methods of solving. This is the most common one um, to find slope. So we'll find the slope here on the side. Um, so we'll say the slope, or M, is equal to Y2. Um, and it doesn't matter which one's 0.1 and which one's 0.2. So we'll call this X1, Y1. We'll call this x2, y2, this is still how we have some organization. So y2 is the value of 2 minus y1, which is the value of 0. Get that all on the same page. And then x2 is 0, put it green, I'm going to kind of squish it here, minus x1, which is 3. Okay. So this one's actually pretty simple. 2 minus 0 is 2. And 0 minus 3, it's a little trick here, that one's actually going to be negative 3. Okay, mm -hmm. so this would be negative 3. So we already have our slope. So the answer to this is actually y is equal to, and I'm going to write it in red, negative 2 over 3x plus 2. But I said that we could find this two different ways. So we did find the slope. I want to do this version here where we isolated for m. Okay, We don't get this option too often when we're given information about lines. So um, I could have plugged in any value for x and y. As long as we have one line, we can always isolate for one variable. So it doesn't matter which of these I do. In fact, we can do both of them. Um, so the very first one, I'll do it all in blue so we know that we're referring to the x-intercept. So we replace y with 0. So 0 is equal to m is still unknown. 
x is the value of 3, so m times 3, and b is still positive 2. So as we work this out, we'll call this version 1. Okay, I'll give it a 1. 3 times m is, would be considered just the coefficient in front of m, so you would just say 3m plus 2. The goal here is to isolate for m because we're trying to find slope. So I bring positive 2 to the other side of the equation. What does that become? Uh, negative 2. That's right. So we get negative 2 is equal to 3m. And then how do I isolate for m? What do I do to this 3 when it's 3 times m? Bring it over to the other side. What operation would I use? It's subtraction. Well, this is multiplication between these Oh, two. yeah. So you do negative 2 times 3? Um, if it's multiplication over here... Oh, negative 2 times negative 3? Uh, no, no, no. You're on the right track with the value of 3. Oh. But because it's multiplication, when you bring it over, you use the opposite operation. Oh, yeah. So we would divide when we bring it over. Mm -hmm. Okay? And division essentially leaves you with a fraction. We could divide this, and you get negative 0.666, repeat it. But let's just leave yeah. it as is, as a fraction, negative 2 over 3 is equal to m. And that's exactly what we found over here. And even if we plugged in the other coordinate, we still would have found the exact same slope. That doesn't make any difference there, okay? So let's, oops, that's the wrong button. Let's take a look at that whole thing, okay? So that's just a general overview of what we've done.